vibration, yeah That's the positive vibes and we create it, yeah
Sunday, March the 10th, and it's almost like half the month, and I don't, I do not think, and I may have, but I don't think I picked you guys up none this month, and that's real disrespectful, and y'all should have a problem with me because of that, because that's not what I'm supposed to be doing, guys, I'm supposed to be vlogging regularly, which I know I'm not going to vlog daily, but I got to do better, so, um, what have I been up to? Let's see, let's see. How much? Just the same old usual working, um, thinking of content ideas and just trying to be great and be a better person. So yesterday I finally got a chance to go to Cataluna, which is a new restaurant in Jacksonville. I'm not sure of like the type of cuisine, um, they will be categorized in. I'm not 100% sure, but their menu is very, very small. But the place is a vibey spot. It is absolutely gorgeous. I think it's one of the most aesthetically pleasing restaurants in Jacksonville, Florida. We don't have a lot of stuff like that. So it's definitely giving me um, NYC vibes. I absolutely love it. And even if I don't really like go back there to dine, dine, I would definitely be back there. Just sit at the bar vibe, get an appetizer. I love French fries, guys. So I had to order French fries with my meal. It's just about everywhere I go. If I'm feeling like fries at the moment, I'll order fries. Those were some of the best fries, hands down, that I have 
ever had. So I can go in there, get me an order of fries, um, order me some drinks, and just sit at the bar and just vibe out. So I think I'm going to be doing that um, regularly. But I end up getting um, short rib, short rib ravioli, and it was okay. I, by the time I got ready to eat it, I was full because me and my, I went with one of my girlfriends. Um, I've been knowing her since I was in a, we were in the eighth grade. That's when I met her. And um, we kind of like went through high school, middle school, well, eighth grade was the last year in middle school, but we went through that year. We were so close. She was like my main chick besides my one of my other um, best friends too. And high school, we did high school together. We had an amazing time in high school, and we actually went off to school together. We were roomies in school for <laughs> a few weeks. I know I told y'all before I got married, like, as soon as I graduated from high school. So, um, we only roomed for a few weeks until my husband came to, to move, well, until he moved to uh, Tallahassee. We went to fam. And... Um, I, I left her then, and it's kind of like I left her for four years after that. We, no falling out of anything, but because our lifestyles were going into opposite paths, we lost, not lost touch, but we were, we seldom were in touch. Sometimes we would go years without um, speaking or seeing each other, and I want to say the past 10 years, we've been making an effort to connect when she comes home. Um... She right now she lives um, in Connecticut, and I haven't gotten a chance to go up there. And she's been trying to get me up there, but man, yesterday was so life changing. The conversation that I have with her, and anytime we, she's one of those friends that even if we don't talk for months or years, when we connect, it's like we never lost touch. We just pick right back up. The vibe, the bond is still there. I don't feel like I'm talking to a stranger. She has so many accomplishments. Once she graduated from FAM, she um, did her master's. Uh, I, I don't, I don't want to mess this up, but I want to say Howard. Is that school in D.C.? I don't know. I, th I think I want to say Howard. I know she was in D.C., so what, whatever the, um, the H.B., Whatever the HBCU is up there, but I believe it's how. So she did her master's there. And then I think from there, she's just been moving from coast to coast here to there for work. But she's um, been up north in NYC and in Connecticut for, for years. So right now, she was recently promoted to VP um, of her, um, her area. So that's a big thing. That's a big thing. And I'm so proud of her she does a lot of traveling with work so we were just talking about you know um a lot of times between my schedule and her schedule it's hard for me to come up there to visit her so she was like because she travels all the time I could just meet her possibly in you know one of the locations that she is as long as I'm cool with the fact that she's working and I would because I would be working too I would bring my laptop and I would work from there too but that'll just give us some some you know time to connect and spend time together so I think I'm definitely going to take her up on that offer um this year I'm going to do it and it's just a lot of things guys like I operate in fear a lot no I'm not I'm not gonna say a lot but with some things I do operate in fear and I am my own worst enemy because I don't push myself and <clears throat> I don't know if you guys are like that but I need people around me that are going to challenge me and motivate me and she is that she is that a hundred percent so every time we link it's life-changing for me and I appreciate her uh, for that so um guys what else so after we left cataluna they didn't have our favorite drink so we had to leave because we were going to stay there the whole entire time um we went over to cooper's hall because cataluna y'all did not they have espresso martini but they have it like black the girl was like they can make it where it's sweeter but we needed bellies we needed Kahlua. we we needed some type of cream texture oh excuse me cream lick we needed some type of cream liquor added in it. Then the lady was talking about they can add like um, half and half or whatever, but they don't even have that. I'm like, you know what? No. 
Cooper's Hot makes an amazing um, espresso martini. So we went there, we had two, and then um, stopped by Insomnia and got me some cookies. She didn't want any, but then she talked about, um, what kind of cookies you got? So I told her, she was like, I'll get a piece. Of I said, absolutely not. I will go back in there and get you some cookies, y'all. Me and Shan food, I don't like to share food. I will get you whatever you want, but don't touch my food. Unless, you know, like we're at dinner and we, you know, we already, you know, we're sharing apps or we're deciding to like, you know, share our meals or whatnot. But, oh, back to Catalonia. So I had the, um, the stuff. No, what, what what was it? The short rib ravioli, I think that's what it was called. And we shared like a flatbread, which was was which was good. It's not your typical flatbread, cause basically it was just flatbread, and it was seasoned with like some balsamic. It had like uh some, I think that was feta cheese or some kind of cheese, some chunks of cheese. It had I want to say that was arugula. But anyway, it was like a fancy flatbread, but it was still good. We messed that up. So by the time I finished my flatbread um, drink, um, how many drinks did we have? We had one cocktail. Don't remember the name of it, but it wasn't listed on their menu. Because their menu have a lot of, for their cocktails, have a lot of gin-based drinks. And I don't drink gin, and she doesn't either. But whatever we had, it had rum in it. But it was good. It was on the little on the sweeter side. Um, so after that, we just had um, a glass of wine a piece, and oh, and then I had my fries too. But my my actually my ravioli came out before my fries did. My fries came out like two minutes later, but I was really like eating on those because they were fresh and hot. So I I probably ate like one ravioli, and then I just took the rest home. So I'm probably gonna eat that once I finish catching y'all up. So, a company um, reached out to me and they wanted to send me some skincare products. The company is based on Amazon. Um, I'd never heard of them before. So, I'm like, sure, why not? Like, what could go wrong? So, I haven't used any of these. I haven't opened them or anything. But I did want to come on here and just show you guys what all they sent me. Hold on. But before I do that, um, let me talk about that wig that I had on um, that y'all just saw before all of this. I got that wig from a company that actually reached out to me to collab from Instagram. And normally I don't really deal with a lot of the Instagram, the ones that contact me via Instagram because um, they just want to give you like a free wig and you do a review. And this company, I, they didn't even necessarily want me to, to, to do a review on um, YouTube. So I don't have really have a formal review on YouTube, but I chose to do it as an integrated video but I didn't have to that wasn't part of the contract so basically um I think we agreed to do a reel and send them photos fine but when I got the wig you know I've been doing a lot of the pre everything wigs right so when I got I'm like dang it, it, it's a regular throwback wig it was plucked it was pre-plucked a little but the the hairline still needed some more work so I'm like dang I actually gotta work on on this I probably should have charged them more <laughs> to do to do this collab but when i tell you baby that is some of the best hair on a wig i have ever received it was worth the amount of work that i put into it to get it to that state it is gorgeous i felt so pretty yesterday so pretty and um i, I didn't i haven't been on their website to even see like how much their wigs are running for for but even though um they didn't ask me to promote the wig on YouTube, I'm still gonna put all the deets to that wig in the description box just in case you're interested. Um, if some of you ladies you're good with installing your own um, lace front, it does require like the throwback, like the bleach, the knots, the, the knots aren't bleached. You're gonna have to bleach your knots. You're gonna have to pluck that hairline a little bit more to me, you will, but you don't have to because it is kind of like pre plug. Um, and then you're going to have to cut your own lace. I had to use a little bit of lace tint. And to me, I still probably need a little more on there. Because um, I could tell, like, when I went in the bathroom at the restaurant, I'm like, it's still a little bit light. But, baby, other than that, everything was beautiful. The lace melted nicely. Um, the hair is absolutely amazing. So, that that's a wig I recommend if you're okay with the extra work having to be done. My outfit. 
That was an outfit I got from Zara. Um, actually, that I seen on Brianna Monique's TikTok. And I got that months ago. I got that maybe like three, three, four months ago. And at the time, it was cool because the back is out. It's almost like, you know, like a halter style um, top. So I couldn't wear it. But I just thought that that outfit just screamed class. It screamed um, soft girl. It embodied everything I am. So that outfit was a reflection of like my style, my style. You know, you guys see me wear all kind of different stuff on here because I am a girl who sometimes I like to dress like this. Sometimes I like to dress like that, like that, uh, the, um, the real that's going around. That's really how I am. But if I was to pick a style, that simple, basic, nude outfit with just a little details, just kind of judged it up. That's me all day. I absolutely love it. It felt good. The fit was good. Everything. I don't, they probably don't have it. You know how Zara is with stuff. So it's probably not available anymore. But if it is, I will link. And plus it was on Brianna um, Monique's TikTok. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's no longer available. My battery is going dead. Let me change you guys. Be right back. Okay. But yeah, do y'all do y'all know how hard it is to snag outfits that um you see from different influencers, especially influencers that have, you know, tons of views. It is so hard. So I was so happy that I was finally able to snag a piece that I saw on another influencer's um content. And especially from Zara, because I don't know, Zara be tripping. They they don't make enough pieces but then I appreciate that because another thing you don't have to worry about seeing your outfit so so many times um on everybody so I do like it, it kind of gives a little bit exclusive exclusive tip exclusivity I don't, I don't know if that's even a word exclusive exclusiveness y'all know what I'm talking about so um yeah let's get into these products I got so much other stuff I want to say but man I have to say those conversations for another time because I could just go on and on and on and talk about stuff. Because when, when I just said exclusivity and I was just thinking about my vocabulary and I know I need to work on expanding my vocabulary with certain things. Um, I really do. I really, really do. And that's just for me personally. It's not because anybody told me that I, I need to. That's just what I want to do. And the thing about me is that I am truly an intellectual person, um, but I also have a big side of me that is, is very creative. So I hone more into that, and I still kind of battle with the fact that I kind of leave my intellectual side hanging. Like, I don't nurture that. And with me doing these videos and stuff, and I'm looking back... Um, Obviously, when I edit them, edit them and look at them again, I'm like, you need to um, work on your vernacular. You need to pay attention and sometimes and slow down and and um, what's the word I'm looking for? You need to work on your diction. Put it that way. How I pronounce my words. Sometimes I'm like, am, am I ADD? Because when I look back at the videos too, I know in my head like I'm thinking of all of this stuff that I want to say. But when I say it, it's like I find myself skipping words or I'm, I'm starting a statement and then I don't really end the statement or the sentence. And I just jump off to some, something else. <laughs> it got to be AD, adult ADD. I don't know what it is and I don't know if other people do it. But I am bad with that. I cannot stay on track. It's like so much going on in my head, guys. And I'm just like... Drrr. And then I'm like... When I look back, sometimes I'm like... I really didn't get my point out. <laughs> but anyway... As you can see... Back to what I'm trying to show y'all... Is these products from this skincare line from... Um, <laughs> from Amazon. Oh, they sent me a lot of stuff. So I got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Nine about nine items. And I I ain't gonna lie, I'm not gonna use all of these items, I'm pretty sure, but I just want to show you guys and then if you interested in them, I, I will come back. The ones that I use, I will come back and let you know my thoughts on them. 
But if you just want to research yourself and you're interested in possibly seeing what these products is all about, I will link their um, Amazon store below. But this first one is this, and this is the Marine Collagen Eye Gels. It says, Dermatologist Recommended Hyaluronic Acid and Pearl Extract. Professional Treatment, Puffy Eyes, Dark Circles, Eye Bags, and it's 12 pairs. So I'm probably gonna be using this one. I don't I don't think I have a problem with like puffy eyes or dark circles, but hey, why not? This this can't hurt. So I know I'm gonna be using this one. Then they have looks like hair and skin vitamins, which I know I'm not taking these. Biotin does not work well with me, and I'm pretty sure the base of most of the hair vitamins and the the base of most of the vitamins for, for your hair <clears throat> and your skin have biotin. Biotin breaks me out. It causes me to break out. So my water pills, my spironolactone is keeping my skin break out from breaking out. So I think I'm not going to bother with that and I'm not going to add anything. So what is this? Okay, so this is the Healthy Hair Stars here. Keratin and Vitamin Superfood Hair Complex for all hair types. Professional formula. 30 leave leave-in serum capsules. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't this isn't something you take. No. This goes on your hair, guys. Oh, dope. Okay, it says here twist and snip the castle neck open. Squeeze the serum onto your fingertips. Evenly distribute the serum through your hair. Starting mid length and working towards the end, baby. My hair not mid length. My hair is barely an inch. That's gonna be real hard. I'm just gonna put it all over my head. Leaving your hair to dry, you can dissolve the biodegradable capsule in hot water. Okay, dope. I'm gonna do this. I can't. Obviously, I can't start halfway because, baby, no. So it's just gonna go on my whole head. So it's 30 capsules in there. It doesn't say how often to do it. So I don't know. I'll come up with a regimen. Oh, it says you can use the serum on towel dry hair after shampooing or on dry hair. But it still doesn't tell me how often. Yeah, I'll come up with a regimen. So this next thing. Oh, more iPads. Here it is. 24 karat gold collagen eye gels. Oh, I probably would use this one over that one. I may give some of these away as gifts. Okay, so this has hyaluronic acid as well. Vitamin C. And it says the same thing. Puffy, puffy eyes, dark circles, and eye bags. But it says collagen. It says something about collagen eye gels. So, collagen is a good thing. So, you know what, y'all? I had a dream. That I was, I had uh, took some pills or something for collagen. That anyway, that collagen was introduced into my diet or something. I don't know what that was all about. I don't know if it was a dream or reality. And I'm just, and I'm trying to think because it seems so real. But I, I did I incorporate collagen into my lifestyle? It's something. Something that I was supposed to have been doing when it came to the collagen um, incorporation, and I cannot remember. I don't know. It was something. I'm going to remember because it's going to drive me insane. Okay, so the next one is, so just like these are the gel pads, these are for the whole face. So these is, this is a face mask. So it's the Marine Collagen Facial Mask, and it's the same thing. It says um, with, the, with the ingredients, I guess you call that ingredients. Those are the ingredients. Yeah, ingredients. Um, I don't know. Ingredients sound crazy to me when I'm talking about a product. I don't know. I think ingredients food, but yes, yeah, ingredients. But this is also dermatologist recommended with hyaluronic acid and pearl extract. And it's for wrinkles, dry skin, and photo aging. I'm not real sure what photo aging is, but it's six masks in here. But before I use these products, I'm going to do my little research. I'm going to really pay attention to the ingredients on the back and um, see if I should be using them, if the ingredients are 
healthy for skin or um, there are not ingredients in it that would that are not recommended for skincare. So we're going to check all of this stuff out first. This one is Wake Up To Your True Beauty Collagen and Retinol Superfood Complex Cream for Fine Lines, Wrinkles, and Dryness. And let's see. Well, one thing this thing says is like no parabens, no sulfates, no silicone, no gluten, no mineral oils, no phthalates. I don't know what this pH word. I'm I'm I've never I've never seen that word or heard that word a day in my life. But none of those. No petroleum, no formaldehyde, no synthetic fra fragrances, fra fragrance free. It says apply the cream twice daily to your face and neck, massaging into the skin. Follow with SPF in the morning as retinol can increase sunlight sensitivity. If you are new to retinol, apply the cream every other night and gradually switch. So maybe this is what I was talking about when I was supposed to be introduced collagen into my routine. So I don't know, maybe. So that's this. I'm gonna probably use that too. The next thing is called the Intensive Repair and Restore Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. I will be using the hair products. And this is for dry, dull, damaged hair. It says evenly distribute the mask on your hair and fingertips from mid-length to ends. I ain't got no mid-length again. Leave on hair for 10 minutes. Cover head with a warm and damp towel for maximum effect. So basically, girl, put you a head cap on a shower cap or whatever you want to call it and probably like tie your towel in a turban or something like that or use one of those turban towels rinse thoroughly dry style in your preferred way so yeah apply the mask to towel dry hair after your regular shower do not apply on hair roots and scalp well that's gonna be hard for me well i guess i can just like rub on across the top of my fro i don't have to like penetrate it like mush it down into my scalp i could just kind of like rub the top yeah because i ain't got that much hair. okay so it has coconut oil biotin marine collagen and keratin no mineral oils no colorant sulfates formaldehyde that ph word um no animal test no gmo so the next thing is instant skin radiance Glycolic and hyaluronic acid superfood vitamin complex for wrinkles, blemishes, dullness. And these are pads. 50 pads. So, yeah, I don't know. Gently cleanse your dry and dry your face. Scoop out one pad with our spatula. And wipe over your skin, avoiding the eye area. Let your skin dry and enjoy the glow. Use once a day. If you use the pads in the AM, use the SPF 30 plus before going outside. Hmm, interesting. These are some good products, guys. Actually, these are some very good products. And I, so far, everything that I've just um, showed you, I plan to incorporate at some point in some way. Um, this is called the Overnight Recovery and Renewal. And it's collagen and hyaluronic acid superfood vitamin complex for cracked, trapped, chapped, dry lips. <laughs> oh, your sis needs this. So before bed, apply a liberal amount on your lips using the provided brush. Enjoy your soft and hydrated lips in the morning. You can use our mask during the day. Just apply a very thin layer. I don't know if I had showed y'all before because I know it was some products that I had, um, got as a gift oh yeah as a gift from a uh, ult to purchase but this is a sleep mask and this for my lips a lip mask talk about a sleep mask a lip mask for nighttime and i use this before bedtime and i actually even use it in the day because it's not like a it's it's almost like a um not like carmex but the same texture is like the um carmex that's in the little canister like this let me just show y'all 
So like a Vaseline type texture. So it's not like a mask where you're like, oh, I need to wipe this off my lips. No, it's something that you leave on. Like a balm, like a lip balm, kind of. So, but I've been using this and I've been, my lips have not been cracked because I was really suffering from like cracked lips. My, the skin peeling on my lips and everything. Since I've been using it, no problem. So this probably is something similar. So once I'm done with that, or I might incorporate the two. Or um, give that a break and see how this works. And the last thing is actually some biotin and collagen vitamins. So it's vitamins A, B, C, E, pure biotin advanced formula with hyaluronic acid. I'm not going to use this. This I'm not going to use. So I'll probably give this to somebody I know. I don't know. One of my clients. One of my clients might appreciate this. So. One of you guys, if you are watching one of my clients only, text me. Let me know if you want this. The first one of you guys that texts me um, is yours. So, just a challenge to my clients. So, y'all better be watching because I don't, I don't want to hear no junk. Y'all better be watching. So, let me know. Let me know. So, that's it, guys. My plans for today, I'm going to juice. I haven't juiced in two weeks because... I, like I told you, I don't, I don't know how long I'm supposed to keep fresh juices, but I, my, I, I didn't finish mine until yesterday. I wasn't throwing them away. It's a lot of hard work goes into that, and produce is not cheap. But I was fine. My, they still taste good. Like from the, when they were first made, had no problem. So um, it looks like with my batches that I make, I will only need to juice like twice a week. So this is my week to juice and i'm gonna go do that and i think i'm going to my cousin has said she wanted some chicken salad i'm not making her any chicken salad but i'm going i was inspired i was motivated so i'm gonna make me some chicken salad um for the week and i think i want to try to cook some stuffed salmon tonight i'm not gonna say i'm going to do it but i'm going to attempt to do it that's that's the plan i don't know it just depends on how i feel after i juice out i make my chicken salad and um actually tuesday which is my cousin's birthday dinner and i think outfit number two is what you guys chose so i think that's the one with the blazer the um corset top and the jeans it was either that or outfit four. I got to look back and tally up the votes, but it's one of those. But anyway, um, Tuesday, I am going to pick up some meal prep. I, not meal prep items, but um, I purchased like a meal prep service. And it's local here in Jacksonville. And um, you have to meet them. They have spots around the city where you can meet them to pick up your meals. So I think at 3.30... On Tuesday, I'm going to pick up meals and they package it into four containers, but each container has two servings. So in essence, it's eight meals and then they pack you veg veggies on the side along with like a, a, a dessert. But all of this stuff is healthy, healthy stuff is not like bad dessert or whatever. So I'm excited to see what that's all about. I've been seeing them on um, Instagram and I keep saying I wanted to try and I was going to make some changes the month of March to my diet, which I'm still eating kind of bad, but not as bad. And I've started back exercising and I've, I've, I feel the difference in far as the way um, my gut feels, um, how I sleep at night, my energy levels. So I'm going to try to keep that up. Another thing, guys, my AC, um, it didn't go out in my car, but it's blowing. It's not blowing cold, baby. I was trying to wait till Junior come home because he'll be here in a week. By the time y'all see this video, obviously he'll be here. Um, to come home to handle that for me, I can't. I, I, I can't. Yesterday was hell. And then um, I didn't want to take my car because I went and picked my girlfriend up since she flew in. I didn't want to take my car. I wanted to take his because I knew that the AC wasn't blowing. But girl, when I went out to get in the car, it was raining. It was storming so bad. So we we were in the hot box. And I was like, well, it's dark. Um, you know, it shouldn't be too bad because the sun isn't out. 
but it was storming so bad i guess with the humidity and everything that was out it was not good we were <laughs> we was cute and sweating sweating we're out i'm a in my balls and everywhere oh a crack in your ball <laughs> we was cute and sweating and it was stressful girl that the ride to the restaurant was stressful because i have ptsd from an accident that I was with her actually. We were going up to Tallahassee. We were headed back to school. We had came home to visit and my car hydroplane and was totaled. We hit a tree, everything. She don't even remember the accident like that, but I'm still traumatized from it. I was the one who was driving. So I hate driving in the rain and I go very slow, very, very slow. So slow that we missed our reservation um, by about 10 minutes and they gave away our table. So we had to sit in the bar area. We sat at the high tops in the bar. I was pissed, but I get it because that's what restaurants do. And I guess I could have called, but trying to pick up a phone and call in what I was driving in yesterday was not an option for me. So it is what it is. I will be back um, there. But where was I going with this? Oh, my AC. So um, a guy... Um, a mechanic is supposed to be coming and seeing what the issue is. Hopefully, I just need a recharge with my Freon. I don't know. I've never had a car that I had to do that. And the fact that, well, my Mercedes is old. Because I bought my Mercedes the end of 2015. Yeah, but it's a 2016. But my car looks amazing. You can't tell it's an older Mercedes, but my car looks um, amazing. But I... I that's probably, no, it's not my most expensive car I had. But it's one of my most expensive cars that um, I've owned. And I've never had to do that in a car. So I'm like, hmm, I guess. I guess over time that happens. And I think, actually, this vehicle is the longest I've ever had a vehicle, too. So maybe that's norm. I don't know. But I'm hoping that's all it is and nothing um, major because, guys... It feel like I'm just getting hit left and right. Like as soon as I make a little money, it's out the door. because that's God's way of making sure I'm covered. But I, like I told y'all in my um, New Year video, I want to save, like I want my, I want to get my savings back up there because it ain't it. My savings is not cute. So, yeah. But I'm thankful I'm here. I'm, I'm straight. Um, I want for nothing. Yes, yeah, things that I desire, but things that I need, I don't want for. So. Um, I'm thankful. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining and ungrateful. I'm thankful, but you can't still help but to desire to do better, to be better, and to have more. That's that's just life. So, anyway, guys, I have talked to you long enough. I don't even think that this video is going to encompass a whole week. This is probably just going to be a weekend upload as long as I talked. Okay? So, I love you guys, and... This might be the end of this. I'll give you some clips of my juices if you want to see those again. And might come back on here and let y'all know what happened with my AC. But bye. Bye, y'all.